Hey folks, I'm Larry Quinn with Forest Feeding Families. We're here in Southwest Michigan for the late antlerless deer hunt. And we're looking to put a couple of does on the ground to feed some families in need this holiday season. We made it back to the back field here. As you can see, it's kind of a grassy field that's grown up a little bit. This is, we're facing north. To the north of us is a cornfield that's been cut. We know that they're feeding in the corn and moving back here into the grassy field for cover. So I've got into the blind, black blind stripped off my camo, gotten into some black to blend in a little bit better. Hopefully we'll be able to tuck in here and see some action. Okay, I'm, I'm here in this tower blind tonight for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are a lot of trails that come through this field, and this is the confluence of a lot of these trails from different directions. Number two is the wind is kind of variable tonight, so I'm, I'm having as few windows open as possible where I think they're really going to be coming from. Everything else is shut, but this blind is nice as it has a 360 degree view, so no matter where they come from, I have a window I can open, hopefully be able to get on them. We've got one nosing it from the field here. She's nosing it from the west. Headed over to the east, just like we expected her to work on the trail. Yeah, she'll be, she'll be a good shooter for this late season here. Okay, let's see. Let's see if she gives us a shot. She's browsing on the trail like we expected. She's moving. Let's see if she gives us a shot. She just turned away. about 3.15, 3.30 right now. So it's early. She came in earlier than we expected. So I'm gonna sit tight here, hunker down, reload, see if anything else keeps working tonight. I also don't wanna get down too early and throw off Nick's hunt. So maybe those shots will drive something to him and then we'll start working again. I, I do not believe this. I don't believe this. She's working down the exact same trail the first one worked down. I think she's, she is gonna step out. Let's see if she gives us a shot too. Oh, a little, little wind. Let's see if she gives us a shot. She just turned. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take the shot. I don't believe that. That's two deer down in 20 minutes. That very rarely happens. I just heard two gunshots from Larry hunting a blind just south of us. And then about 10 minutes later, two more shots. So anxious to see if uh, he had some success and either way, it's a good sign that uh, the deer seem to be moving. So we'll see what happens. I got my friend, Nick Karabatsis, founder of Forest Feeding Families here with me. He was sitting in the field to the north of me, heard the shot and immediately said, I'll be there to help you track right away. So that's what it's all about, hunting with buddies and having a friend like this to help you out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can find these. Let's see if we can find, find these deer. All right, let's do it. Ah, Nick, made your life easy. Oh yeah, there you go. We're right in the middle for you. That's an easy track. That's an easy one. That's All easy right, one. that's kind of yeah. like. Got one. I don't know how the next one's gonna be. Hey man, we'll get it done, we'll find it. We'll find her. We tracked a lot of deer in our day, so <laughs> we'll get her. It's like either she came in here and bedded down for a minute. See all that blood in that big pile? All, she's all in there. Either she stumbled in here or she laid in here for a minute. And then it kind of picks up again right here. Another big pile. That's a good thing to remember too, is when you're tracking the deer, and you're in territory you don't necessarily may not know so well, just to make sure you know what direction you're going. Because sometimes it get really confusing in the dark and this thick stuff. Unless you track the blood back out again, if you have enough blood, you can track the blood back out, but you kind of want to know where the heck you're going. The trail right there. She should get back on this trail. She definitely laid down here for a little bit. So, but yeah, it's really red. Definitely didn't hit the lungs, I don't think. The thing is, like, I don't see it like spraying anywhere. Like you hit the lungs. You know what I mean? I feel like you maybe hit the diaphragm or something. It's bleeding for a mile, but oh my god, where did she go? 
There, there she is. So I give my friend Larry a hard time here because I just crawled my hands and knees through a lot of thorns to get this little doe. But you know what? The DNR had asked um, all the hunters to shoot more antlers deer because the population is so high in this area. So big deer, little deer, we want to make sure that we did our part to control the population, make sure we maintain the habitat. And in the end result is uh, being able to donate these deer to families in need. So good job, Larry. Well done. Yeah, man. My pleasure. <laughs> As you can see, tonight was a very successful hunt. And I want to thank Larry Quinn, one of our board members, for getting two does down. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice shooting. Thank you. And the cool thing is, is these two deer are going to go a long way to feed a lot of families in need, especially around the holidays. Uh, it's, it's a really critical time to really help people in your community. If you want to learn more how you can help those in your community, check out the info below. And I'm Nick Karabatsis with Forest Feeding Families, and more Midwest Outdoors coming up soon.